fighting across the Lebanese-Israeli border will end. Will end. एक और फ्रांस की वजह से इसराइल और हिजबुल के बीच हुए युद्ध विराम समझौते के तहत बुधवार 27 नवंबर से संघर्ष विराम प्रभावी होगा अमेरिकी राष्ट्रपति जो बिडेन ने मंगलवार 26 नवंबर को व्हाइट हाउस में इस बात की जानकारी दी यह समझौता पिछले साल गाजा युद्ध से शुरू हुए संघर्ष को समाप्त करने के उद्देश्य से किया गया है जिसमे हजारों लोग अपनी जान गंवा चुके हैं बिडन ने इसे स्थायी शांति के लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण तो कदम बताते हुए कहा कि यह समझौता दोनों पक्षों के लिए शत्रुता समाप्त करने का मार्ग प्रशस्त करेगा इसराइली प्रधानमंत्री बेंजामिन नेत ने भी युद्ध विराम लागू करने की सहमति जताई है लेकिन चेतावनी दी है कि यदि हिजबुल समझौते का उल्लंघन करता है तो इसराइल सख्त जवाब देगा उन्होंने यह भी स्पष्ट किया की कि इसराइल संपूर्ण सैन्य कार्रवाई की स्वतंत्रता बनाए रखेगा समझौते के तहत इसराइली सैनिकों को दक्षिण लेबनन से हटना होगा और उस क्षेत्र में लेबननी सेना की तैनाती की जाएगी अधिकारियों के अनुसार हिजबुल को लितानी नदी के दक्षिणी क्षेत्र में अपनी सशस्त्र उपस्थिति समाप्त करनी होगी I want to thank President Macron of France for his partnership in reaching this moment. Effective at 4 a.m. tomorrow local time, the fighting across the Lebanese-Israeli border will end. Will end. This is designed to be a permanent cessation of hostilities. What is left of Hezbollah and other terrorist organizations will not be allowed. Well, I emphasize, will not be allowed to threaten the security of Israel again. Over the next 60 days, the Lebanese army and state security forces will deploy and take control of their own territory once again. Hezbollah terrorist infrastructure in southern Lebanon will not be allowed to be rebuilt. And over the next 60 days, Israel will gradually withdraw its remaining forces. And civilians, civilians on both sides will soon be able to safely return to their communities. Israel did not launch this war. The Lebanese people did not seek that war either, nor did the United States. Over the past year, including the days immediately following October the 7th, I directed the U.S. military to flow assets and capabilities into the region, including aircraft carriers, fighter squadrons, and sophisticated air defense battery, to defend Israel and deter our common enemy at a critical moment. And so the United States With the full support of France and our other allies, has pledged to work with Israel and Lebanon to ensure that these, this, this arrangement is fully implemented. The agreement totally implemented. You know there will be no U.S. troops deployed in southern Lebanon. This is consistent with my commitment to the American people to not put U.S. troops in combat in this conflict. Instead, we, along with France and others, will provide the necessary assistance. To make sure this deal is implemented fully and effectively, if Hezbollah or anyone else breaks the deal and poses a direct threat to Israel, then Israel retains the right to self-defense consistent with international law. Just like any country, when facing a terrorist group, pledges that country's destruction.、And、just as the Lebanese people deserve a future of security and prosperity, so do the people of Gaza. They too deserve an end to the fighting and displacement. People of Gaza have been through hell. Their world, their world is absolutely shattered. Far too many civilians in Gaza have suffered far too much, and Hamas has refused for months and months to negotiate a good faith ceasefire and a hostage deal. And so now Hamas has a choice to make. Their only way out is to release the hostages, including American citizens, which they hold. In the process, bring an end to the fighting, which would make possible a surge of humanitarian relief. Over the coming days, the United States will make another push with Turkey, Egypt, Qatar, Israel, and others to achieve a ceasefire in Gaza. With the hostages released and the end of the war without Hamas in power, that would become possible. The United States. Remains prepared to conclude a set of historic deals with Saudi Arabia, to include a security pact and economic assurances, together with a credible pathway for establishing a 
Palestinian state and the full, the full normalization of relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel, a desire they both have. I believe this agenda remains possible. Israel has been told on the, has been bold on the battlefield. Iran and its proxies have paid a very heavy price. Now Israel must be bold in turning tactical gains against Iran and its proxies into a coherent strategy that secure Israel's long-term its long-term safety and advances a broader peace and prosperity in the region.